The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Hong Kong, China, weighing in at 130 pounds, Bruce the Dragon Lee. As the finishing touches get put on the cage, Byron, what are these superstars in for here tonight? Uh, they're in for the fight of their lives, Michael. In fact, I would go as far as to say that these superstars will likely never be the same after this one. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. Look out, here we go with the steel cage match. For generations, the steel cage match has been considered oh. one of the most ruthless matches of all time. important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. He's going for the pin and he doesn't stay down for long. Yeah, this early, no chance. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. Well, a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage. They must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. 
A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something of value for once and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. To that point, something else we've seen over the years is interference. Whether it's The Undertaker coming up through the ring or John Cena getting bashed in the head with the cage door from the outside, it's all legal in the cage. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. Oh, wow. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. He's making a statement here with this attack. Ooh, what impact. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall, submission, or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. Oh, my. Beautiful technique. Nailed it. you got to believe this one's over. He's looking a little off balance. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. <laughs> I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Oh, nasty impact. Boom, what impact. Harsh impact. Dodges that one. Ooh. It was right here in New Orleans that Paige defeated AJ Lee in her WWE debut to capture the Davis Championship. And you get the sense we'll be adding to that history by the time tonight's over. This might be it. Oh, my. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Steel cage matches never fail to surprise and amaze. He's getting it done here. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. 
Here is your winner, the Warlock. What a ferocious conclusion to this steel cage match. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.